and girls, Miss Farrah here. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I looked up in the sky and oh, it looked beautiful out. So I thought it would be a beautiful day to have a picnic. I have my food here and I got my picnic basket and I have my picnic blanket. So, hmm, I just wonder, is that a clue of what our story might be about? Yeah, you're right. Our story for today is called The Perfect Picnic. And today is a wonderful day to have a picnic. So let's see here. The person that wrote the words in the book is Betsy Maestra. And then the person that drew all the pretty pictures is called, their name is Julio Maestro. So excited. Such a good book. All right, you guys ready? It was the first day of summer. Goose jumped out of bed and ran to the window. The sun was shining brightly. Hello, sun. What a perfect day for Hen's picnic, she said. She took out her sunglasses, her sandals, and her sundress. As she got dressed, she hummed a little song. <laughs> this outfit is just right for a summer day, said Goose as she skipped down her front walk. Just then, oh no, a big cloud covered the sun. A cool breeze blew by. Goose shivered. Ooh, I'm too chilly in this sundress now. She went back inside and put on long pants and a jacket. Goose hurried to the pond. She got into her boat and began to row to Hen's house. Suddenly, something wet landed on her head. Goose looked up. Oh no, she cried. Dark storm clouds were moving across the sky. Clip, plop, clip, plop. More drops landed on Goose. It began to pour. Goose rode back to her island as fast as she could. Oh no. What are they going to do? She rushed into her house and took off her wet clothes. Then she called Hen. How can we have a picnic in the rain? Goose asked Hen. Oh, it's just a passing shower, said Hen. It will clear up. Hurry, Duck and I are waiting for you. So Goose put on her raincoat and boots, and got out her umbrella. Then she headed outside for the third time. Whew, three times, wow. When Goose got to the pond, she saw that her boat was filled with water, oh no. So she began to bail out the boat. It will take hours to get all of this water out of my boat, she complained. Now I'll really be late. At last, the boat was empty. Goose got in and began to row. When she got a little way out, she noticed that the rain had stopped. The dark clouds were moving away. So Goose decided to take off her raincoat and boots.
So she kept rowing, and now the sky had turned a lovely shade of blue. The sun was shining. I'm roasting Whew. in these pants, said Goose. I better go home and change my clothes. Whew. Way too hot. So Goose was rowing back across the pond. She hopped out of the boat and headed up the path to her house. But when she tried to open the door, oh no, it was locked. Oh dear, where's my key? She cried. It wasn't in her bag. It wasn't in her pocket. Oh no, I'll have to climb in through the window. Luckily, the window wasn't locked. Goose opened it up and squeezed through. She landed on the floor with a thud. Then she quickly brushed herself off and headed into the bedroom. As she put on her sundress, a button popped off. Oh, oh no, Goose said. I'll never get to the picnic at this rate. She quickly sewed on the button and finished getting dressed. Goose is not having very good luck. When Goose opened the door, she couldn't believe her eyes. The sun wasn't shining. Everything was dark and wet. Oh, it was raining again. That does it, she shouted. I'm not going anywhere today. I've had nothing but bad luck. Goose called Hen again, but before she could say anything, Hen began to speak. We can't have a picnic today, that's for sure. It's pouring here, maybe tomorrow. Goodbye. Goose said goodbye and hung up. What a terrible day said miserably. Everything has gone wrong and now I have nothing to do. Goose sat in her chair and stared out at the rain. Soon she began to get sleepy and she dozed off. The sound of the doorbell woke her up. Oh! When Goose opened the door, she saw Hen and Duck. They had a large picnic basket. We didn't want to waste all this delicious food, said Hen. So we decided to bring it over here. We can have the picnic indoors, said Duck. That's a great idea, said Goose. Come on in. The three friends began to prepare for the picnic. They spread out a blanket on the floor. Then they put out all the food. It was a feast. Look at all that food. They had a salad, they had sandwiches. They even have cupcakes, probably for dessert. Yum. Something is missing, said Hen. <gasps> There's no sunshine. I have just the thing, said Goose. She brought over a large lamp and turned it on. Bright, warm light shone down. That's better, said Hen. Now all we need is a breeze. Goose turned on a little fan and a light breeze began to blow. This is just like a real picnic, said Hen. The only thing missing is the ants, said Duck. Oh, no, 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 we can do without the ants, said Goose. Everyone laughed and munched all the sandwiches. When I got up this morning, I said it was a perfect day for a picnic, said Goose. It certainly hasn't been a perfect day, but this is a perfect picnic. The end. What a great book.
And the best thing about this book is it teaches us not to get upset and discouraged when our plans have to change, right? Because the three friends, they had planned a picnic on a nice sunny day, but their plans got changed, didn't it? Yeah, because it kept raining and that's not fun to sit out in the rain and try to eat. But instead of getting mad and maybe throwing stuff or, you know, maybe having a tantrum, no, they didn't. Instead, the three friends, they stopped, they thought of a plan, and the plan was to move their picnic inside. And they still had friends over, and they still got to spend time with one another and have fun, which is way better than doing nothing, right? But I loved their idea. I loved how they were really creative and they thought of using a lamp for the sun and then the fan for the wind. That was really smart. So next time that your plans get changed, be like the three friends and make sure you stop and you think of how you can make that your plans better, right? All right, guys. So now I'm going to put my picnic stuff away and I'm going to show you a new breathing tool.